If you've been thinking of starting your own e-commerce store with WordPress or upgrading your current one, you're in the right place. In today's video, I will show you step-by-step -step how to create a high-performing WordPress website for your e-commerce store using the Elementor e-commerce hosting plan. And I'll also share 10 key things that you don't want to miss to achieve success with your business. So even if you're a complete beginner, this tutorial will help you start your e-commerce store. Let's get started. So first, why did I choose the Elementor e-commerce hosting plan? or business. First off, you can have an all-in-one solution so you can get the plan that contains the Elementor Builder as well and the Shop Optimizer theme for WooCommerce, which will give you the complete solution for designing your website, listing your products, and so much more. So then you won't need to buy a theme, you won't need to juggle multiple providers, you have everything you need in here, and you can build a website very easily and a very affordable one with the Elementor e-commerce hosting. The next thing, it is really easy to use, so the Elementor drag and drop plugin is my favorite thing to use when designing WordPress website for me or for my client. It is literally everything I use when I design WordPress websites. You don't need to be a developer, you don't need to know coding, you don't need to know any of those things. It's literally that easy. And then when you choose Elementor hosting, it is the best thing to host the Elementor plugin. The hosting that is built for speed and reliability, it is critical for e-commerce success. If you want a fast, secure and beautiful store, Elementor hosting is the way to go. So the first thing you might want to do if you don't have a domain yet, if you don't have hosting yet, is go to the link below and choose your Elementor hosting plan, the e-commerce plan if you want to start an e-commerce store on WordPress. So you have the basic plan that is perfect for small businesses starting out or the business plan which is the one I recommend for growing stores that needs more features because this will help you a lot more. As I said, the shop optimizer theme is included, WooCommerce Plus, the Elementor drag and drop plugin and more. Once you've selected and purchased your plan, you can can now go to manage the website and select your domain and you have your domain for the first year for free with the Elementor hosting. Just click there, click connect a domain, get a new domain and you will be led to a page where you can choose your domain and connect it to your store. Then after that you can go to the WordPress admins, log into WordPress and after your theme is installed you'll be able to activate it. Under plugins you will see all the plugins that they recommend you install. So you need to click on all of them, install, click on all of them again and and activate them all. Then you can search for WooCommerce and install and activate the plugin if it's not already installed. And you might need to take a little bit of time to set up the currency for your WooCommerce store, payment methods, shipping methods, just add your bank details, your payment details, and all of that. Now for the theme, as I said, if you pick the business plan, you will have the Shop Optimizer theme included, which is what I like using for WooCommerce stores that are selling products because they have a lot of features. You have a header builder, footer builder, social icons and again you can use it simply with the e-commerce drag and drop tool. So you can activate the theme by going to appearance themes and activate it. You will then be able to import the demo for the theme. So if you want your homepage, every page to look exactly as a demo, you can import it really easily. Wait a little bit and then your website will look exactly as a demo. And then you can start modifying the theme to fit your branding style, add your photos and all that. Your homepage is the store's first impression. That's what you need to work on first. I would start with the header and footer and so social icons or anything else. So you can go to headers, click edit with Elementor and modify the header to your liking. So you can change the shop announcement color, you can change the text, the font, the size of the text, anything to match your brand and of course add your site logo as well. So to add those little details as the site logo, icon, site name and tagline, you can go to appearance and customize. This is where you can choose your site background color, different other colors and choose the site name, as I said, logo, icon, and so on. So to create the homepage for your website, if you didn't import the demo version, go to pages and add new page. If it's not already created, it should be created as a homepage and you can click edit on that and then edit with Elementor. If your Elementor plugin is installed, then it will go really easily and you can edit it. A few elements that you can add to your homepage are a hero banner with your store tagline and maybe feature product. You can even add a slider so multiple images that are 
sliding on your homepage. Um, product categories with clickable images. This is important so people know the sections that your products are a part of on your website. You can add testimonials at the top just after categories to build trust and to see that people are purchasing your products, show the reviews, five stars, how many they gave you. So this will immediately get people to understand that your products are being purchased, used and loved. Then you can have a call to action button that will lead people to all your products. So the shop page, that will be the main shop page with all the categories, with the filters, sorting options, and more. Once you've set up your homepage and it is ready to go with the Instagram feed, footer, and everything else, you can start working on the shop page, as I said. You can add different banners for your main shop page and for your category pages as well. They can feature different discounts that you have, different offers that you have, for example, two plus one free. Now, of course, before doing that, you need to have some products in your WooCommerce store so you can start adding them by going to WooCommerce product and add a new. Include high quality images, detailed descriptions, and optimized pricing. So you can add sale prices, prices, prices for variations, create variations, attributes, and so on. To create variations for a product such as different sizes, you can go to attributes, select the type of attribute that you want to create. For example, size, select all of them, add all of them in there, and then click create variations from all attributes. You can then customize product filters for easy navigation. Also add related products to increase upsells. Now that you've created your pages, your product pages and everything else, we need to make sure that they also convert. So we need to include social proof. So include customer reviews and product ratings on product pages. You can add one click checkout so people can immediately click buy this now instead of art to cart. And then make sure to also add trust elements such as secure checkout, fast delivery, whatever it is, and highlight policies such as free shipping over a certain amount or things like that. Now, I'm sure you know that most sales happen on mobile devices, so you need to optimize your website, your e-commerce website for a mobile device. So for that, you just go to settings, responsive mode in Elementor, and you can optimize your pages for a tablet or a mobile device. Now, if you see that any buttons are too big for mobile, any headlines are too big, images are being over lap. That's no problem. You can easily modify that without anything happening in the desktop or tablet version. It will just happen on a mobile version if you want that. And you can make headlines a bit smaller, make images a bit smaller, make buttons be on the right place and everything will stay the same in the desktop version because Elementor has this responsive mode settings where any modifications that you make for the mobile will stay on the mobile version. So this is great for optimizing your shop for mobile users that are using their phones to shop. Another thing you need to do is add essential features such as a search bar and filters as I said. You can add a wish list functionality so people can click heart on a product that they're interested in. It will be automatically added to their wish list and then they can come and purchase it later and of course allow people to create accounts so they can save that wish list and they can save what is in your cart. The ninth thing you need to keep in mind for your website to be the perfect website for your e-commerce store is to improve speed and performance so how fast your website loads because a slow website can really hurt your sales. So you can use tools for image and video compression and lastly you need to set up tracking and analytics to really understand how your website is performing and what works for your site and what really makes your product sell. So you can install a plugin such as Monster Insights, Google Analytics to really see how your website is performing, where the most traffic is coming from, where the more sales are coming from and so on. And then you can use the WooCommerce reporting tools to track sales and inventory as well. And there you have it, 10 really important steps to building a successful e-commerce store using Elementor Host. As you saw by using Elementor's drag and drop tool and WooCommerce features, you have a beautiful site ready for customers. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave it a like and leave me a comment down below telling me what products are you selling in your WooCommerce store. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video. Bye!